Dynasty mock tonight, yes or no? You do it up. Pick one. What you got? What's the format? What are we doing? Break it down for the listeners. Breaking it down. All right. Dynasty rookie draft. These are all rookies. We're going to go through 12 picks because leagues are usually 12 teams. Uh, PPR settings, one quarterback. Um, one quarterback. You want to go tank. Brandon <laughs> Mead. Bam, 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 bam. Just on this player pool, right? Just uh, Wait, let's act like we don't even have a team. Yeah, you act like you don't have a squad, uh, or foresee what your squad might look like if you were in that position. Okay. Like, oh, I have the first pick because I had a team like Anthony. So we're doing the rookies. Ash. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like I'm on the clock. I will be taking. Why are you on the clock? He fucking said I was. What if so I was be on the clock? Is you're Anthony? Not, you're in not this? even in it. No, he's not in it. Sorry. Sorry about it. But I need to my fancy team. Yeah, you do. So you should listen. Yeah, just take notes. Go ahead. I'm going to go. Uh, my assumption, the best receiver in this draft class, Marvin Harrison Jr., number one overall. Boom. Hmm. I'm keeping track of all of them, so you know. Good, good. Yes, please. We need some. How many picks we get? Uh, Through 12, so everyone gets four. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to take another receiver. Hmm. This one go either way between the two. I'm going to take Romo Dunze. Really? You're going Odunze? Yes, sir. Well, that made my pick easy. I'm going Malik Neighbors. <laughs> yeah. You're going to take either one. Yeah. No, I was going to, if you took Neighbors, I was going to go Bowers. Really? Yeah. I like but Odunze, I but I think Odunze is going to the Giants. And Just off of what I said earlier? No, I just think, it, I oh, mean, Giants? I thought that prior to that, but what you said, maybe enforce it as well. Uh, I think Call he goes to the enforcer. Giants. I don't. Th- I think Odunze is good for sure. Uh, I think Bowers is. I just like the bigger frame. That's it. Okay. Of the wide receivers, yeah. neighbors is just fast though, and he killed it at his pro day. And people yeah. are saying, some so, people are like allegedly, oh, he could be the number one receiver. He could be the first receiver taken in the draft. That's what they're saying. Lying. Season. I don't believe. I it. like them both. I don't believe it. But if you could say that about him and Marvin Harrison, then that's the only ways I would go. So I would take neighbors three. The more I thought about it, like I, I think I like what. Marvin Harrison Jr. is doing right now. He said, "Just watch my fucking film, bro." I don't he said, "Bro, I just played at Ohio State for an entire season. Like, what do you want for me to go run out here for one day to just, change everything?" Just watch my film. Ain't nothing changed. No. Nah. What you got? All right, so I'm up again. Nothing. Hmm. How about this duo here? I'm gonna go Brian Thomas Jr. Brian Thomas, Brian Thomas Jr. Jr. Good pick. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Second to second fiddle to Malik Neighbors at LSU, but from everything we've been seeing and hearing, he could be a potential wide receiver one, bro. He could be a wide receiver one for sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Brian Thomas Jr. He can't has a lot deny of upside. Can't deny the talent. And he potentially could be uh, Indianapolis Cole if they don't take a corner. Yeah, give me the best tight end in the draft, Brock Bowers. Oh yeah, just cause he, he good, he especially good. if he goes to like Cincy. Potentially, like I'm having a I'm having a hard time trying to figure out where he's gonna go, bro. Brock Bowers, same. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be to a team where like, all right, they took our guy. We're gonna take the best player right now. Like I think Jacksonville. We'll, we'll get into this later on when we get closer to doing our mocks, but. I don't know, bro. Maybe if he falls to the Jets, maybe I could see him taking him. But I think the Jets would go a wide receiver before they win him. I don't. So they got they got Gary Wilson, Wilson, Mike Williams. I don't know. Was yeah, like Mike Williams is a good wide receiver too, but he doesn't last long. We'll see. But if you could add Odunze in there, yeah, mm-hmm. good receiver room. And receivers walk into the league faster than tight ends do. So like they got offers. That is true. There Bowers on the Jets is not fitting the Aaron Rodgers timeline where Odunze would. Mm. We'll see. To me. My pick next. Ugh. 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 This is where it gets gross because I like those top five picks a lot. This is uh, would yeah, change a lot part. based on draft capital, where they go in the drafts, how high they go in the drafts. This yeah. is where that changes up. Uh, you could just go Caleb Williams would be safe, but 
quarterbacks in a one quarterback league really ain't doing it for me, especially when there's so many good ones right now. Too money. Yeah. I think I'd have to go. So I'm looking at running backs here, but I'm also thinking about another wide receiver could be good. I'd probably take Xavier Worthy here. The oh, speed. Your boy. The speed. Yeah, Maybe if he, if he goes in the first round, I, th- I could see him going, being a good player. Especially because he'd be late first, so he'd be going to a good team like the Bills or like Chiefs the Chiefs or something. Huh. I'd go worthy at six. Back to tank. And you know what? I like his situation right now where he's going to be falling into because I, you know I don't like to say the L word. We do not say the L word on the show. But Caleb Williams is a absolute lock to go to the Chicago Bears. So... He's got DJ. He's walking into a room with DJ Moore. Yep. Um, Keenan Allen. Yep. Whoever they, if they take a receiver at the ninth overall spot, they're building their lineup. They're building the defense up. Swift. I'm, DeAndre Swift. I'm going to go. I think it's Caleb Williams. Right? Komet and Gerald Everett. Yeah. Caleb Williams is on my squad with Marvin Harrison Jr. And Brian Thomas Jr. I feel like no matter what team he goes to, I feel like he's going to be pretty solid. Jane Daniels. Especially with the rushing upside is good for fantasy. Yeah. His stock is going up. He had see, he he put the ball on a fucking rope at that pro day. Like I mean, obviously it's it's a uh, like a pretty much just playing catch yeah. on an escalated level for the pro days, but he has a fucking good. zip on it, bro. Yeah. It looks really promising. No matter what team he goes to. I like it. Jaden Daniels. Solid player, man. And if he goes to like Washington, they'll be behind a lot, maybe. I can get you some garbage time points. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the garbage time points are good. Well, him with Cliff, I think, will fit their scheme. So that'd be good if he could fit in like a Kyler role. Kyler came in the league and ate it up in fantasy. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to go with. Uh, hmm. Are we just going off the list you sent? Just go off whatever. Right. The list I sent should be a good list, though. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm looking at right now. But I feel like I'm Because we're just going somewhere. 12. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Jonathan Brooks. Good pick. I think he's a. Uh, he's coming off an ACL injury, but. He'll be all right, and I think he'll be the first running back taken in the draft. Really? Yeah, and I think... He's Texas, right? Yep. Jonathan Brooks out of Texas, yep. Basically, whoever gets the best draft capital here at running back is who I'd probably go with, um, unless the landing spot is atrocious or in a super committee. But if he's the first running back off the board, I'd probably take him around this range. Rookie running back, the best time in Dynasty to get a running back is on the rookie contract. Uh, yes, sir. And if he can get drafted in the second round, that'd be crazy. Might be more of like a third round pick. But if he's a second round pick, then it's easy for me here. He's money? Yeah. Yes, sir. What you thinking? So this one's a little tough for me. I'm kind of bouncing around here. I'll probably pass on a running back because there's no one's really talking about. There's some. There's some good ones that I like in this draft. I think there's going to be some that step in right away and play the RB1 role for some teams, especially the Dallas Cowboys. But um, I'll, yep. I kind of, I'll, I'll pass on that for now um, because at least in my dynasty leagues, I kind of like to build up the receiver room a little bit. Um, so this one's tough. Like Donnie said, it all depends on landing situation. So the forecast for this guy, uh, I've been seeing potentially late first round early, mid, second round. He could play any spot of receiver you need him to play. I'm going to go Lad McConkey. Lad. Lad. What a lad. So basically what you were saying about the running backs, I'm going to bring back to the table. Because obviously we know we got a good idea. He's probably going to join Jim Harbaugh. Blake Gore. Good. He already knows the system. If he went to the Chargers, that's a great fit. Yeah. Especially because they don't have, like, they got they, Gus over they, there, but they that backfield is not very lit right Some now. Some are saying maybe that's a landing spot for Dobbins. 
Yeah, he went Ooh. and visited with them. I saw that he went and visited with them. Don't and talk uh, to him. I mean, the guy, he, Greg he, Roman over there? Yeah. Yep. Apparently him and Greg Roman got beef. Oh, he ain't going. But he still <laughs> visited with them. And, I mean, he's still trying to get paid. We want to see if things change a little bit. But, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, he's trying. What I was reading from Ravens fans online was that J.K. Dobbins did not like uh, Greg Roman. But he was still going to visit there. So who knows? That'd be great for him, though. He would eat there. For sure. For Blake, right? That'd be good for him, too. Yeah, yeah, but Blake. if J.K. Dobbins goes oh, over there, J.K. Dobbins, there too. Hey, if you keep that leg healthy, brother. That's no, all you got to do. Easy peasy. Put a brace on it. So I got that. What? This is the last pick of the draft? Right? Oh, we're just this doing 12? 12. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, just, 12. just like first round. All right. Yeah. So I'll just go Troy Franklin. Hopefully he gets picked in Boom. the first round. His stock has been slipping a little bit. It's slipping. It's I don't know if that's because of his size or what he looked like at the combine. I don't know, but I like the hype on him has sort of decreased over the past couple weeks. Nah. Yeah, not I like think they saw his fundamentals just not be as Oregon. good as other players. So we're done. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's a good run. First round. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. So what we got? Can do two rounds? Well, I'm going to start not remembering who these people are after that. <laughs> that. That is true. All right, we stick with one round. But I got a Dynasty rookie draft coming April 29th. I'm going to know everybody. Yeah, because I was about to Believe hit you all. I was going to hit you all with some heat. Well, who'd you got? 2-1. Go ahead. My next one was going to be Xavier Leggett because I think like, I think some teams are overlooking Adam him. Adam Mitchell? Yeah. Can we I talk about his voice? Leggett is going to be that guy. You ever hear him speak? No. Okay, this will change your mind. He's like the Allstate guy? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait until you hear his voice. He's like Monte Davis? You just got it, bro. The opposite, actually. <laughs> Pretty much. A little easier for my family to come watch me play, so that'll be great. That's just them telling me down that they want me on their team, man. I'm a lot of coaches came and hollered at me before and after this process here, man. Um, a lot of them, man, they they um, say yeah. they got a buzz in their facility for me, man, and I'm just ready to see where I'm talking about the Panthers. Whether you're taking a picture. Oh, he loves Stan Panthers. Carolina. He needs to be on a Southern team, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I think he's gonna be a guy, and he's gonna be like it's it's tough to project these guys right now. But I mean, that's the name of the game. But I think he's gonna be one of them. But anyways, uh, yeah, after our mock uh, dynasty draft for the rookie class here, I'm I'm gonna draw up like a graphic or something, and y'all can vote which who, team they like best. Who are you voting for? They're gonna vote my team. Your team for what? Oh, we just did that. that. Sorry, I was. I blinked out. Get it together. So I got Marvin Harrison Jr., Brian Thomas Jr., Caleb Williams, Lad McConkey. That's crazy. You gave me the first pick, though. I got to pick last. We should have snaked it. We should have snaked it. Probably should have. This is on you. I didn't think about it until now. Don't post it. I'm (laughs) posting it. No, post it for sure. And Brennan's got Roma Dunze, Brock Bars, Bears, Jaden Daniels, and Blake Horn. I got a whole team right there. Bam. And Donnie's got squad Malik. Malik Neighbors. Xavier Wordley. Yup. Yup. Fast. Jordan guys. Brooks. E- Is it Jordan Brooks or Jonathan Brooks? Jay Brooks. <laughs> it might be Jonathan. And <laughs> yeah, Troy Franklin. Yeah. Troy Franklin. The Big Sean Jonathan song Brooks. is like the theme of the day. What is that? Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <out of> <laughs> take, take me over. <laughs> Country road, take Say me home. Like-